basics management. Uh, I write. I write for a magazine, based an online magazine it's called Care Fashion. Care Fashion Eugene. Then I, I've also started modeling. I said recently, last year. I've done two shows so far. Yeah. Um, so, could you tell us what inspired you to do the modeling, the writing? Okay, like right from childhood, mm -hmm. I always had a passion for modeling, beauty pageants, those things. Because at school we'd have them, and then I would have to, I would participate. Then I went to Nabisunsha Girls School, so we also had a beauty pageant, yeah. And I was Miss Nabisunsha, but we used to call it Miss Ebony. So those who know me, they know I love doing that, <laughs> modeling beauty pageants. challenges you face in the industry, in the modeling industry, and what are the common stereotypes you come across? Uh, I wouldn't really say there are challenges, huh? because in fashion, not everyone will accept you. Sometimes you'll be rejected, sometimes they'll accept you, because sometimes they want a specific kind of model. And maybe if you don't fit the, those specifications, they will not take you. And then maybe the stereotypes people think if you're plus size, you can't model. You, they, they, people have it in their heads only the small people, okay, because that's how it is abroad. Mm -hmm. But we are Africans, we are African women. So, what do you have to say about um, the issue of probably like sexual harassment and people making sexual advances to you, like as a model? Has that happened, or how do you think someone can? Just like such a you know challenge. I think men should respect women. You know, like sometimes parents when you tell them you're going to model, they might think it's something bad. And then even some other people take it like a bad thing, some because they they don't know yet what modeling is all about. But it's a clean industry. I think it's because of that deforestation. People cut down the trees for to sell them. People are trying to make a living, but then it's also affecting us so much. It's been rainy sometimes, but then before it was so hot, some people went without food. What do you think artists can do to inspire change as regards climate change currently? Okay, since they have influence, because the artists, the people know them. Uh, I th they'll have a better audience, so they, they, the artists would use that to the, to their advantage. You know, they help us as people in a community sensitized by those who know better about the disadvantages of cutting down forests. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. You let's, know Miss Jones. Yeah. Okay. You know Miss <laughs> Hello, I'm Namara Hawa, and you with Expression UG. <laughs>